Hello everyone. I just had to share this with you. This is the new uh, die set from Elizabeth Craft Designs called Retro Bus. Now in the U.S. we would be calling this a uh, retro van rather than a bus. Um, I want to show you how adorable this is. So this can, this die set, you can make just the van here or you can make it to where it is its own separate mini album. This kit comes with a set of rings or you can use this as a page, put this in your Elizabeth Craft Designs Planner Essentials uh, notebook. So it can be its own separate, it can be uh, a page, or you can also make cards out of this. So this is really fun and you get to put pages in here as well. And I have done the back page and I'll explain that in a minute. I wanna show you the kit and this is what it looks like. You get the rings that I mentioned, and you get this stamp set. Isn't that pretty? The dies are all of these, and all of these. And you get this two-sided, beautiful color um, layout here, which has got full of ideas for you. You can look at and you can see what all the dies go to. So what I want to do, first of all, is I want to make uh, another card, another uh, of these notebooks, actually. But I think I want to do a Disney one. So what I did was I gathered these papers and I pre-cut. So in the kit, you have two basic van dies, this one in and of itself, and this one that has the left side hole punched. So this would be, I'm going to leave this in here as well. So this would be what shows through your windows. And it would also be the side tab right here with the holes. So this would be the actual van. And this is also what you're going to use for all your pages inside like that. Although I did cut off the side mirror. I'm having a bit of a difficulty with the side mirror. And one of the reasons is you can see how thin this is. It's very frail and you can reinforce it because now when you glue this on, you've got two and there's also a side mirror die, as you can see the silver right here, which reinforces it again. And I even use that again in black on the back. So I have four sheets of cardstock and it's still too frail for me. So I'm, I don't know whether to keep that, whether to add some like Mod Podge or something to help give it strength, I don't know. And my other issue, is that this one here is over the hole. And it's not because I have moved it either. It is just, it's just over the hole. So in order to fit it, I have to push it up out of the way when I glue it on. Okay, now you have all kinds of dies. You have this one here, which can add the, the really, cu really cute second layer here. You've got the piece symbol which I would normally put here, but I decided this time I'm going to use this Disney punch. I have this Mickey Mouse uh, punch. It's an EK success punch, but I'm, I did two, so it, would, it would, so it would be stick out just a little bit more. You have headlights, turn signals, you've got bumper, tires. I use the piece symbol again, a portion of it, to get a steering wheel here. You've got this frame here. There's also a luggage rack across the top. And that luggage rack is what I used for the back because I did not want to have uh, the same windows in the back because then it would look like the front. You see, I added red tail lights. So I just took the luggage rack and I dyed it twice. I cut off the legs um, and then I, used, I cut it again in black and put that for a window. So that really works pretty well for me. There's also a die to change just the top color of your van. There's just so many possibilities here. Plus there's a guitar and a lot of really cool hippie uh, sentiments in there. So what I want to do with this, I thought it'd be really cute if I had Mickey in there. So I stamped Mickey out and this is using Mickey Mouse and Friends uh, stamp set by EK Success. And this is, I have, I think, one of these stamps left in my shop. And I don't, it doesn't matter if I cut off his feet because you will not see any of that. Now, 
And I'm also going to use a little bit of black here to give me some accent right where I have these white edges that I don't want showing. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to glue this in place. And today I'm going to be using the Barely Art Glue. Now on these ones, I distressed the edges. I wanted to get that van a really vintage look here, but this time I didn't want to distress the edges. I'm going to layer these just for added thickness. Okay, now I need to know where to place Mickey. So I'm going to line this up. Just put these here just to clamp this so I don't lose track of where I am. Then I'm going to grab my tweezers. I'm going to lift this up and think about where he should be right there. Perfect. Now the other thing I did was I went ahead and I cut out a piece of acetate using this die uh, I didn't want to use the one, this one here because it would cut the windows out. I just want this solid piece to go back in here. And I need to use double-sided tape to get that stick. Oh, you know what? Before I do that, I want to add the tires here. So what I'm going to do is trim off the bottom here. because I want the black tires to um, show. And these have tread on them. It is such a cute design. So it actually embosses the image of the tire tread when you're cutting it out. So now when I put that on there, you will see the tires through that. That's why I trimmed that off. Okay, now that I have this, I want to do this and add glue in the other places. I don't know if that will really stick to the acetate, but we're going to do it anyway. Oops, I didn't put the acetate on there. I'm so silly. Which means I need to put more tape on top and my liquid glue is going to get dry while I'm doing this. I actually did this the, the same way the first time. I forgot to put the acetate on here. There we go. Okay, now I have to come back in and put fresh glue on there because I wasted time. And try to push that one mirror up so it's not over the hole. Okay, and then the other pieces I have is this, which is the grill for the bumper. I also use the same one for the back bumper on my yellow hippie van. So here we have the side mirrors like this. I know you're experiencing glare. I do love the look of this side mirror. I just wish that it was a little stronger. Okay, we're coming along and now we have this, which is the windshield frame. And I did think a really cute thing to do with this would be just to be put Mickey ears on the side of the van. Wouldn't that be adorable? Now what we're missing here are headlights. So there are in the dies, we have several circles. So I'm using these large ones now and I'm putting these blue ones in the center and that will be our headlight. I used white headlights for this one and I used red for tail lights or brake lights on the back of that. But I thought the white would kind of get lost since my van is also white. Now this is going to go here. This, to me when I put the headlights on, it really makes this entire project come alive. And now if you want blinkers or turn signals, this little flower and the center are also part of the set, but I think this time I'm just going to use the center and not the flower. And that is it. Isn't that adorable? 
Now, uh, what you can do for added strength is to take an additional side mirror and glue it right here, but I would use the same color as this instead of black. And that is your front page. You can see my, turns, my uh, side mirror is still a little bit down over that hole, but not terribly so. But what entirely different appearance these two have. Now, if you are wanting to make this into a card, there is a way where you could make this and just cut off part of this and fold this over and glue it to the back piece. The issue with folding is that is this is rounded. So what I would suggest is to cut two of these out, just like this, and then make a little hinge, and I'll show you what I mean by a hinge. I would cut this. I'm gonna use this here. I would cut an inch by about an inch and a quarter here. Let me get this straight. And then cut this about an inch and a quarter. It's not very big. And then you wanna score this right down the middle on the inch side. What that does is give you this nice hinge that you can attach to this. So right here where it's not quite as rounded, Make sure the edges are not sticking out over the card. And then glue your other one of these to the back. And then you would have this card that would open up like this. Okay, so you would have an issue with these because they're very, they're very frail and they're not reinforced. So for this one, I would probably just even trim those off like this. But it's still very cute and this would give you a card. So there you go. I still have some of these die sets in my shop right now, and I would advise you to snatch them up as quickly as possible because I have heard that they are running low on inventory and these will be hard to get very soon unless your favorite store has really stocked up on them. This is, imagine all the cute, cute ideas you can get with this, plus you get all the ideas that you see here, they, just so many. And you can see there's also windshield wipers are available. The word peace is part of it. Road trip is part of it. Isn't that cute? And look at all the, way, the ways that they use the pattern papers. So Retro Bus Special Kit by Elizabeth Craft Designs. And I think it is so worth it.